Producer Beto, who loves his Barcelona, says, nah, bro, on the Serginho Dest. All right, let's move on. Time to continue our series of MLS preseason interviews. Remember, we spoke to a bunch of guys at MLS Media Bay Day back on January 10th in Miami. One of our favorite convos was with LA Galaxy center back Maya Yoshida, the former Japanese international who captained Japan actually at the last World Cup, is about to get set for his first full season of Major League Soccer. What about the quality, uh, the level of play? Was it what you expected um, when you watched or heard about the Galaxy and then you come and experience it? What was that like for you? Uh, <clears throat> probably because of uh, our performance last season. I was expected a little bit more, uh, but to be honest, I can we can improve a lot. We should improve a lot, but overall, in terms of the league, I think it's good level. Not of course same as England, Germany, Serie A, but still very positive for me. But you know, the, just, we can improve still a lot, and uh, of course, always. The biggest key is the DP player can make a difference. So always as a defender, I have to think about these players. They're going to make something different. So I was reading some of your comments from kind of the back half of last season as you're playing with the Galaxy. And I think you used the word embarrassing at one point to kind of describe the performances. What did you find in the LA Galaxy when you arrived midway through the season? What did you see last year? First cup games, I was really positive. Uh, because we are the second from the bottom and we are expecting to go to playoff. And first couple of games, after first couple of games, I feel like, yeah, why not? We can, we still have chance. Then um, last three games, after, especially after we couldn't make the playoff already, then uh, we, we lost our concentration, our passion and our the philosophy as well. So last couple of games is really shame, to be honest. But, you know, that's also difficult after pre we're missing the playoff. The Los Angeles Galaxy are a historical team yeah. in Major League Soccer. Uh, team with the most wins, most championships. Um, it, it, it was a destination team for, for many years in Major League Soccer. A decade's gone by where they almost haven't been relevant. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> does the LA Galaxy today have a roster to compete for a title in Major League Soccer? I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. But we need to reorganize. We need to rebuild the team a lot. Not only on the pitch, off the pitch. Like especially now, last ten years, the every a lot of clubs, the investing a lot, the facility, the stadium, the players, and uh, sports and nutrition, everything. The football is improving every day. And yes, Galaxy has the five stars, but last time we won, how long? 2014. Yeah, that's that's long time ago. Then it's the same. Every business, every sports, everything have to improve every day. Then we have to follow. We have to achieve. We have to overcome. That's uh, I think that's we are missing in this moment. But we have uh, like we got new players. We have to get new players. And DP probably gonna be the new again. And then. We have to rebuild. We're going to rebuild from this preseason. Hopefully, we can come back as soon as possible. Right, no salary cap. There's more competition between the players. And I'm sure that between the good competition, the player can improve. Player can grow up. That's where I have been a long time. And um, especially England. Every six months, the, the transfer market open. It's going to be stress for us. But that stress, so we need to keep our intensity, keep our concentration. But because of the salary cap, it's okay. DP has different, but other players maybe less intensity, less concentration, less pressure. But I think this is a, we should get new phrase, new step 